do a video on uh, Betty Bangs with curls. This is kind of a hairstyle I do, um, kind of an easy to do, quick style. As you know, kind of having the bangs is essential to the Betty look. And I don't have the traditional Betty Bangs and my hair is actually a lot longer than vintage standards, <laughs> if you have those standards. But um, like I've been mentioning in my videos, I love mixing styles and doing my own thing. And so I like my hair a little longer. I have layers all at the bottom because I had tried getting a shag and <laughs> that I had layers up to here and I've spent the year growing them out. And it did not suit me. I decided I like kind of that lump, one length hair or maybe just a few layers on the end. Blah. Anyway, so I haven't cut my hair in months, but it worked. I grew it all in. And so I'm just spraying with um, Smoothing She Is Sleek uh, hairspray. <clears throat> and then the Bamboo, bamboo Fiber Full. Um, I can't remember, what's the name? Oh my gosh, you can get it in the drugstore, but you know this brand. I need my glasses. <laughs> anyway, um, I love the smell. I especially love the smell of the hairspray and I always like do a little squirt. It is quite stiff. So depending on what you're doing with your hair. So this style is kind of like my long lot ringlets, my Betty meets goth <laughs> um, hairstyle. And it's a fun, easy style to do. Um, so I've already straightened my bangs and then the iron is a one inch hot tools. I love them They are very good and then I've already sprayed like I said with the Shia. I just do both sides. I split the hair in half um, I just find it easier to work with with long hair and this is a really easy um, Five ten minute do so I take one inch sections and I go under and I curl and as you can see I have a little end but what I do is, and I hold the curling iron straight down, I clamp it so that I do get the ends. And that way I don't have to worry about getting a whole piece of hair and all the hair gets heated. And we, we've got this beautiful little ringlet. I got one little piece sticking out here. So I'm just gonna curl that under. But what we're gonna do is do one inch sections all the way around on one side. And then you can heat the hair by just kind of running it if you have frizz. Like I have a little curl. It's a long curling iron. They're actually a really great subscriber recommended a really long hair curling iron that I have to get and I still haven't got it. And it's for kind of like when you're doing these long rolls. Oh, I'll find the link. I know I've got it somewhere in the Amazon store because um, she had mentioned it. And so I'm gonna just kind of clamp down just so I get the end. And as you see, I'm not holding it that long. Don't worry about these little pieces. You can go back in at the end and curl them. And they kind of loosen up and flow into the hair. Once again, and you can take um, smaller or wider sections if your hair is a different kind of texture. So we're gonna do that. Oh, got it. So I got that one. So I'll go back in and just kind of curl that later. No stress. It's a no stress hairdo. And my hair is always coarser in the back because, you know, so I just heat it a little bit, run it. And you know your hair so you can determine how long you want to hold it. I'll give it a few seconds. If I really want it to hold long, you know, I'll just hold it in there. Oh, look at that. So you see all the hair look. So you, sh you could clip these back so you don't mess up the hair like I just did. Normally I don't have a problem. I'm just because I'm talking and chatting. So... Uh, Go back in and I overlapped and got some some curled hair who cares because we're all doing one direction so doesn't that look like old-time vintage Victorian curls like the long sausage curls that's what it reminds me of anyway sometimes I leave them like this and shake them out or I just run my fingers through it A little hairspray and it just kind of it's not gonna be perfect all day, but that sausage, but you could spray a lot of hairspray if you wanna keep this sausage look. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you wanna do that. So I just curled the other way, but generally I'll just loosen them up. You see how it just kinda perfectly puts the curls on the bottom. I do have some layers on the bottom. So if, I, if you have some layers at the bottom, that's gonna help you. But I always curl in around the face because I like the framing. And that just gives you some little 
pump to your, your hair if you don't want to tease it or do the whole wrapping it and clipping it. Now I'm going to go back in on this side. And you know, I do have curly wavy hair, so that helps. So if you have hair like mine, this video will help. If you have fine thin hair, that's when I would recommend curling it and clipping it and letting it sit for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes or even if you're in a hurry, five minutes, but that'll mold the hair into the curl. And then you can choose to build your wave as I've shown in other videos or just run and go. So I could curl these pieces out, but I'm just gonna go in. And I've got still some layers up here from my shag episode. I think I just went to somebody who didn't know how to cut it. There we go. No biggie, grew it out. At least I didn't totally get rid of the bangs. I just decided I love my vintage hair a little bit more. I like my Betty look. And I know it's, you get tired of seeing people who look like you, but where I live, nobody has this hair, so it works. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this piece and then I'll go back in and just take smaller sections. And then like some of the little straight ends, like I'll curl. So I'll go back in and just do that and just get the end when I'm fine tuning. And then like sometimes this, because I have a shorter layer, is still kind of frizzy or just not perfect. So I'll run the iron through it and I'm grabbing it nice and tight, even though I have the end sticking out. And then I'm gonna just pump, see how I'm pumping? Everything's a pump. Airbrush makeup, curling irons. Hold it a little bit and that way you won't damage your ends. And then I'll just take a section here and do the same thing because I still have a short section. So my hair was like, the layer was up to here, some of the layers for this shag. And I liked it when it happened and then I was like, eh, I'm over it because I couldn't do any kind of vintage styles. It was like kind of hard. So I'm choosing to keep my layers about here. I finally grew this in and it's now, I can't believe it's down to here now. So it felt like in December it was still up here, but it's grown. It's grown. Do you like that? So some loose, long sausage curls. And if you want to be a little goth girl or like Victorian look, you could put some hairspray or mold into that. Mold. <laughs> what am I saying? Gel. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And I like to do a little squirt of this just because I love the smell. Through the bangs. And then definitely on the sides to hold it. And I like my little ringlets, so I just... For this look, I don't pull it all out. This bottle, for some reason, squirts and splatters everywhere. I don't know if you saw that, but I can feel it. This one sprays really nicely, and it's a humidity control. Um, and I always spray it and then put um, curl my hair. And then this one I do like a little squirt afterwards. So I'll list those products down there. But I hope you guys enjoyed that quick hair tutorial for my morning makeup get ready. See, it's just kind of a loose, a loose, I know the coat keeps opening, wow. Uh, a loose kind of hair curl. And then if you didn't catch it in my other videos, I use this little tiny Conair flat iron for my bangs. And I always blow dry with a big round brush and then split them section and do it. And that's what I do. Thanks for joining me guys. Have a great day.